Hey everybody, it's Justine, also known as Opulent Spiritual. Hope you guys are having a great day. We have another coffee cup reading because you guys love these. And um, yeah, we're going to get right into it. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe and support me. And I wish you the best in your life. And I hope that, you know, if you are going through something right now that, you know, just know that you're going to be okay. And, you know, it's just temporary because time is an illusion anyways, right? So we're going to get into this. This is just anything that I see. Um, and there's something that's very important about this coffee cup that I never seen before when I was making the coffee, like the grounds, like, like a, like a clump of it just stayed on the surface, which was like very strange. And then it started like melting into the, into the water and it was taking its time. It wasn't like really quick. So like to me, that's saying that something that was bothering you or causing some kind of problem, it's like melting away. Something's like melting away from your life and it's going to be like instant. So that's, that's what I got from that. So let's look at your cup. There's like a very strange drip here. You see that? And at first I thought that was like a boat. So you could be going on some kind of boat or someone is coming towards you that's from a distance. And then it almost looks like a music note too. It's like something, it's like, look at the way that it dripped though. That, that's what's very strange. It's, it's like something that is coming. It's something that's coming and it's like an idea. It's like a dead end here. Yeah, and there's like a little X right here. This could be someone trying to come back to you, but it's a dead end. Hmm. Yeah, very strange. Okay. So there's the grounds. Look at that little drip right there. I feel like you could be crying over something that just happened. This is like recent. It just happened. Maybe you had a breakup or someone made you cry. There was a breakup here, a separation. Something made you definitely cry here. You thought it was something that was going to be, but it didn't happen that way. But at the same time, it was very short-lived anyways. It was very short-lived. I'm seeing a rabbit here at the bottom of the cup right there. So someone could be born in the year of the rabbit, or that's you, but that's also 2023 as well. There's news coming towards you with uh, some kind of bird that's flying. There's also a butterfly right there. So transformation, new beginnings here. I'm also seeing someone's head down right here. It's like being sad or, you know, disappointed in life or something that you're doing or something that's going on. But then I'm also seeing someone dancing here, like doing like, <laughs> I was gonna say the electric slide. I don't know <laughs> what that's about, but there's like someone dancing and shit. So maybe after being sad and disappointed, you're gonna be dancing. 
And like electric slides and stuff, don't they do that at like weddings? So maybe you're gonna be going to like some kind of wedding or party very soon. I'm seeing number five here. So someone could be born in the year of the dragon or that's you. I'm also seeing letter J right there. And there's a telephone with the wire. You know, like those old phones. So someone could be contacting you. Letter W as well. Letter M. Letter K here. Someone could be contacting you very soon. So expect a phone call from this person, whoever this is. Look at this. CV. CV. What does that mean? That could be this person's initials or a street or something. CV. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's let's keep going here. I'm seeing S I S here. Sip sib or there's something with yeah drinking here like drinking liquids or sipping your liquids maybe you're drinking things too fast and it's like giving you a stomach ache or something maybe drink slower or there's something with drinking here hmm I'm seeing no communication and somebody is blocked. Somebody is definitely blocked. And there's the moon card here. So it's like a one path and like God wants you to keep going on this path. Don't have fears because you are on the right path. And there's an angel right there that's divinely protecting you and guiding you right now. So you are divinely guided and protected right now on this on this path maybe you don't know what's going on or you're confused but just know that you're on the right path i'm seeing someone falling here and something being thrown at their head <laughs> but this is almost like you know when like you have a dog and like they jump on you and it kind of like you, you could fall I'm also seeing that too. So this could be someone like jumping on you or like an animal jumping on you, but like because they love you and miss you type of thing, but you're probably going to fall. You know, from just the excitement of like love. I'm also seeing someone sitting here thinking, contemplating about a decision that they have to make. And maybe this is you also reminiscing about the past and like good memories and stuff like that because you are feeling down and let down type of thing. Which that's fine, you know, like that's good to think sometimes to, you know, like reminisce and stuff like that. I'm seeing letter F here and number four. I'm also seeing letter L and letter I. You're going to be receiving a letter in the mail about something that you've been wondering or waiting on. This could be something that's like legal or something you need to sign. I'm seeing number nine here. So you could be born in the year of the monkey. You could be a Virgo. I'm also seeing Sagittarius. I'm seeing two people laying down on like a blanket outside, like a picnic or something, and really having a deep conversation here. And I'm also seeing letter S and letter D. There's also a number six as well. It's right there. Do you see it? So something's definitely happening now in June because June is six and also you're the snake. 
But something is definitely happening right now. You could be meeting this person and going on a date, like outside in the park. There's also a letter X right there. So this may be, for some of you, this is your ex. Maybe you're going to have a conversation. Maybe you're going to get closure here. Or maybe they want to take you out and show you that they've changed. There's also a letter C right there. This person could have these initials in their name, or you're going to be traveling somewhere where there's like a C, you know, like a town type of thing. There's also a love balloon here. A love heart. I'm seeing letter M as well. Letter J. There's lots of butterflies here and like a lot of butterflies that are just all together. So it's definitely something that's nature involved or you need to get out into nature, you know, and really just breathe. I'm seeing a skull here. So Scorpio energy, death, this is an end of a cycle here. So a lot of you, you're getting closure to end this this cycle. Like maybe you were thinking about this person a lot and you never got closure. And I'm seeing someone's like jaw dropping right here. Like they're shocked. You're shocked. That could be news as well. That's going to help you like move forward something's going to help you move forward that you're going to be like oh okay i i don't give a shit anymore i really don't there's so many c's here and there's a lot of angels too so you're definitely being protected right now even if you feel like you're not and you feel alone but you're not alone you're definitely not alone. There is an opportunity coming towards you, but it's still needs time. This could be like a new job or something within like the month. You're going to know about it. And I'm also seeing like a pterodactyl, you know, like a big pterodactyl flying and it's Almost something that took forever. This is something that you gave up on. And this could have to do with Earth energy. Virgo Taurus Capricorn. And I'm seeing number 33. 53. You could have life path number 5 or 3. Year of the Dragon, Year of the Tiger. And Year of the Goat. You could be born as a Taurus. You can be born as a Pisces or a Leo here. Or those are going to be people that are coming towards you to talk to you or something is involved with this, this group of people. I'm seeing letter T as well. T as in tango. And there's a, like, I was going to say a thumbs up, but maybe that's like someone sending you like a thumbs up, like, okay, everything's good. Like, don't worry about it. Year of the snake is here as well. Like, don't worry. Someone doesn't want you worrying about them anymore. They they want you to let them go. They They don't want you to worry about them. It's like they're annoyed. For example, like this could be your kid and like you're the parent and they don't they don't want you worrying about them anymore. But I mean, you're still going to worry. It's your kid. You have number seven here. You also have Aries here as well. And you have cancer here. With And there's a frog. So... Something that's like hidden from you that is going to bring abundance. There's abundance here. Some kind of money. And I see a person getting gifted a heart here. If you could see that, you definitely could see that. It's very clear. And I also see number three right there. 
And I'm also seeing Sagittarius. Aquarius. Pisces. <laughs> Letter H. Yeah, I'm hearing, you know, the song. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Listen to the rivers and the lakes that you used to. So, shout out to TLC, bruh. And, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of confusion here. I'm also seeing a slingshot. So you're definitely hitting your target on something. Let's see. The Om symbols right here. So spirituality is being highlighted. You need to connect and meditate. You're going to get the answer that you want. With that. Mm, number seven, July. You could be dealing with the cancer. But something seven. On the seventh or seven days from now. Is something's happening. Yeah, look at that. The Aries symbol right here. Something with an Aries here. Hmm. There's also a number three, 13. Number 13. And there's also number 20 here. 1320. It could be like an address or something. There's a lobster right here. So something that is keeping you controlled. Something that's a burden. It's going to be lifted. And this is also about having no money. And like on your last limb of everything. And I feel like money's going to be gifted to you somehow. To get you out of a rut. There's something with money here. Your your money is really tight right now. Just be careful. You know? Like, don't buy things that you don't need. You're definitely going to be getting help with that. And I'm hearing pheromones here. Something with the way you smell. Your energy is attracting something to you. There's also an embrace here. There's going to be an embrace of, of love here. Yeah, you could be 30 years old, like 30 plus something is happening here. Mm. There's also someone waving goodbye, like, like waving goodbye to you. So you could be, somebody could be leaving out of your life forever or they're going somewhere and they're never coming back hmm. all right well that's all i have for you and you're question that you may you might have had if you had any the answer is no i hope you guys enjoyed this thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one namaste love and light